You've got to say it was fantastic watching the 4Z on Saturday. Brilliant racing, particularly at the front of the field. So exciting when the Thai Waste Scholars crew of All-Star Internationals, Valen Sinkovic, Andre Sinek, Alan Campbell, Eskandar Eskandrov, just started right close up to Leander's top crew with Alex Gregory, Charlie Cousins, Matt Langridge and uh, Johnny Walton and just overhauled them by Barnes Bridge. Outstanding, exciting, the two crews blade tip to blade tip. I think it was pretty expected. You would have guessed the result that that Scullers quad would have won. But what was fascinating to me is that the guys in it, particularly Alan Campbell, who'd been in a quad with Drysdale that won the force head, thought that this crew was something special. No surprise there that the Scullers quad beat that Leander crew by a margin, 24 seconds or so. Um, the Leander guys were a bit disappointed, but really, to be honest, they were never in the hunt against a crew of that class. What is really interesting, though, is when you look at some of the other results, particularly in the Cox Fours, Oxford, half of their boat race crew, particularly with two guys in the stern, fantastic rows, Leludis and Canada's Malcolm Howard, absolutely trashed the field. Not only did they beat the Light Blues Cambridge by a margin of 30 seconds, but they also beat by... 34 seconds, a crew with four of Britain's world champion 18. Pete Reid, Will Satch, Tom Ransley, Dan Ritchie. Cox, I think, by feel and heel. Now that is an amazing result. It wasn't surprising when you saw the two crews. The Oxford crew were really sharp, really on it. They weren't smacking the catch in, but they were very quick to connect, really locking on against the resistance. You saw the Leander crew and they kind of looked a little bit like they were trying to do stuff that they had been in the eight in the summer to make the eight go quick. Kind of just trying to be gentle on the catch, sort of trying to sweep it along, but without really ever getting connected. And the margin of 34 seconds was massive and the guys have tweeted Will Satch and so on. You know, good luck to Oxford, well road, but we're really disappointed. I just wonder how much that result is down to the type of training they're doing with Jürgen Grobler. They've just come back from the Sierra Nevada. They do loads and loads of land work, loads and loads of ergo work. I guess they may well be tired, but the fact is they don't really do that aggressive water work needed to compete at that top level. And I think really that is the big difference between what the squad guys are doing at the moment and what they're doing in the Oxford boat where they've got a different training programme in the Cambridge boat too. Alex Gregory, he tweeted or he blogged about his race. We train for the World Championships. We don't train to win the force head much as we enjoy it. And I guess the guys in the squad boat would say the same. What I'm wondering is, if does it have to be a choice? Do you really, in order to win at the World Championships, have to suppress your rowing so much, do so much ergo work, so much weight training? and really look at the force head as a bit of fun because when it comes down to it, that was an outstanding result from the Oxford Four. It's an outstanding result from the Scullers Quad. Could the squad boys have done better? I think it's an open question. I know they'll be looking to see how they can improve and post quicker times in the summer. But for the watchers, it just made for such an exciting race and uh, can't wait to see the next time the guys are out in the water.